Now for a story you'll see only on KHU 11 News tonight. KHU 11 investigates a pricey perk for state employees and public officials. We're talking about flying around on a fleet of executive style jets. They're supposed to only be used for official state business and there are other rules as well. But is it all the travel above board? Here's investigative reporter Jeremy Rogowski. Getting the records was not easy. The state agency that operates these planes tried to block their release, not once or twice, but three separate times. So we got station attorneys involved, and it took 10 months to win the fight to shine a light on how your tax dollars are spent. Check top four, with you on the visual, three, five left. A fleet of four speedy jets offers comfort and convenience. Unlike commercial airliners, these planes can fly direct to any airport in the state. And records show Texas officials hopped on hundreds of times the past few years for things like meetings, conferences, or during a disaster. But who's watching out to make sure the flights are above board? Our focus is really flying these planes. Not the agency that runs the program, the Texas Department of Transportation. Turns out it comes down to the honor system. So it's a responsibility of any requesting agency or person that's requesting these flights, it's their responsibility to validate the state need for these flights. Is anybody watching over them to see if they're following the rules or not following the rules? Yeah, again, it's, it's their responsibility to validate the state need. That lack of oversight is a big red flag. I don't know that the honor system is good enough in this case. For the government watchdog group, Public Citizen, Adrian Shelley is the nonprofit's Texas director. When there's an honor system, it doesn't ask even the most fundamental questions. You've just got a system that is ripe for waste. Texas law spells out how state aircraft should be used, like when the destination is not served by a commercial carrier or the flight is the most cost-effective travel. And passengers must fill out this travel log citing a specific state purpose. As taxpayers, it ought to be important to us to see that our dollars are being spent wisely. But consider these flight costs KHU 11 investigates discovered. State Senator Charles Perry spent 3,000 taxpayer dollars to go from Austin to Lubbock to accept an award. Texas A&M Chancellor John Sharp spent 2,900 hours from College Station to Dallas and back. The state's specific purpose? Not specific at all. Or there's U.S. Senator John Cornyn's flight from Baltimore to Austin, $8,500 all on the taxpayer's dime. We're constantly updating you. And then there's Lieutenant Governor Dan Patrick. He conveniently lives near Hooks Airport in Northwest Harris County. We found three trips where Austin-based pilots picked Patrick up at Hooks, flew him to Austin, flew back to drop him off at Hooks, and then returned to the Capitol all on the same day. The average cost, about $3,500. If they're effectively using a, you know, a state plane as a, as a taxi, an air taxi at $3,000, $4,000 a pop, you know, I think it's fair to ask if that's the best use of state dollars. A spokesman for Lieutenant Governor Patrick told us he almost always travels by car to and from his Houston area home to Austin. He uses a state plane very sparingly for that trip and always for state business work in compliance with the law. But again, when it comes to ensuring compliance, TxDOT's Adam Hammond says that's left up to the passengers on board. Is anybody looking at these flights to see if they're above board? It is their responsibility to validate the state need. And if rules are broken, rules are broken? It's the responsibility of the requesting agency or person to validate the state need. You're going to keep answering my questions the same way, correct? Yeah, our, our role is to fly the plane, and that's what we continue to do. Now, there is a section in the law that says these flights are allowed if the time required to fly commercial interferes with a passenger's obligations. Experts we spoke with describe this as a catch-all way to justify taking one of these executive-style jets, even with a hefty price tag. Excellent work. Took a while to get the information, Jeremy. Thank you.